Yo, what is up guys, Fast here, and sorry if I sound a little weird, I'm pretty sick, and the reason why I did a gameplay of Modern Warfare 3, because it was the last Infinity Ward game, but what I want to talk about in this commentary here is the feel and the features of Ghosts, and an update on the Ghost giveaway, and why I have you guys write the reasons why you want the game, and okay, let's first start with the game goes because I've been getting a lot of messages asking me what the game's like and is it slow or fast to rank up so I've played the game all together for about 12 hours 12 to 13 hours actually I got the game on Friday and I just got to play the real multiplayer with other people today because on Saturday and Friday it wouldn't let me for some reason so on those two days all I did was play against bots because that's all I could do and the game to me feels really nice and smooth. It's pretty similar to Modern Warfare 3 actually. Well, it is to me at least. But as I played against bots, I did try out all the kill streaks and for me the best kill streak is the Maniac. It's just insane and you can do anything with it. And for you that don't know what the Maniac is, it's basically a juggernaut suit, but your movement is sped up and you're equipped with a knife. And really all you do is run around in that juggernaut suit and shank the hell out of people. So I think that's the best streak for me. But there's some other really cool streaks like Riley the guard dog which requires 5 kills to get. And Riley can kill enemies, warn you if enemies are coming by barking. Which is pretty cool. And the highest kill streak you can get requires 25 kills. And that is actually called the Odin or KEM strike. Which you can get only on certain maps. And the cool thing is that you can get it in a care package. And the way to get a care package is to complete an objective that you pick up when you kill a person and that is the only way to get a care package it is not in any kill streaks I've not yet tried to go for the Odin strike but I will later on today and I also tested all of the guns and my favorite three guns would probably, the, probably be the AK-12 the Honey Badger which is really good and I recommend it for the people who like to play competitive because the Honey Badger is really good and my third favorite gun is the IA-2 which is a marksman rifle. And another question is, what are all the gun categories? Well, the gun categories are assault rifles, of course, some machine guns, light machine guns, marksman rifles, which is a new category of guns, snipers, shotguns, handguns, launchers, and riot shield. So these are all the new guns. And another thing is, there's two new types of lethals. These two new types of lethals are the LED and the canister bomb. Now, I did not test these two out, so I can't give out that many details about it. And the new tactical is called the 9-bang, which is pretty much like an EMP, but it can act like a flash grenade. Holding it longer creates more flashes to blind the enemies, but if it's fully cooked, it creates the EMP blast that stuns electronics. Also, Ghost has really cool maps. Most are decent size, but some are too big. But my favorite map is Whiteout, and Whiteout is absolutely the most funnest map, or well, most fun, map to play Search and Rescue on. Or, my other favorite map would probably be Stormfront. These two maps are really good. I think they would be really good for competitive. But, um, let's get to the topic of if it's slow or fast to rank up in multiplayer. Because I played about three hours, yeah, about three hours straight, and I only got to a rank eight, so it will take some time to rank up unless they do some kind of update to speed up the process, which I hope they do. Plus, there's a lot of new game modes like Blitz, which is kind of like CTF, but once you get in their spawn, you have to go into their teleporter, and once you go into their teleporter, it teleports you back to your spawn. And there's Cranked, where after you get a kill, you have 30 more seconds to get another kill or you explode. There's Search and Rescue, which is like S&D, but after you kill an enemy, you have to pick up their dog tags to eliminate them. But you can also pick up your teammates' tags to put them back in the round. But they did keep most of the original game modes. They kept Domination, S&D, Kill Confirmed, Free For All, Team Deathmatch, etc. But let's get to the giveaway. So as you guys know, I'll pick two winners for Xbox and another for PS3. And just to tell you, the more you guys comment, the bigger your chance you have of winning. And the more you guys are active, the bigger chance you have of winning. And I really do appreciate all the support from you guys. I've honestly read all the reasons. And speaking of your reasons, how do you guys do that? Because I really wanted to see the excitement in you guys and how much you would love to win the game. And it is really cool what you guys put. And another thing is Xbox One and PS4 comes out, I think, November 
and it comes out soon. It comes out in like November or something. It comes out soon, maybe in a week or two. I might do a giveaway for those two consoles because most of you are asking for Xbox One and PS4 copy. So I might do that for you guys. But yeah, I will pick two lucky winners on November 15th. And I will record how I pick them. Then I'll message the two winners on how they will get the game. But guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I'm going to end this uh, commentary here. May the luckiest subs win on November 15th and enjoy the rest of the uh, gameplay. Peace out, guys.